Hare Krishna. Fear is not the problem. Fear of what comes after fear is. Fear is a natural human reaction to danger. And fear, when seen positively, is often called as caution. And it protects us from charging recklessly into dangerous situations. So fear in that sense is positive, it is good. But sometimes fear degenerates into panic. And sometimes some people even get panic attacks where they feel so overwhelmed by, by fear, by worrying what will happen if while I am driving the car on the road I get a heart attack? What will happen if while I am sleeping suddenly the roof caves in? So the mind can imagine many terrible scenarios and that is the problem. So panic attack, panic and panic attacks. Panic refers to just the feeling of overwhelming fear where we start sweating, our hearts start palpitating and we start trembling and we just can't think clearly, we just overwhelmed. So that is panic and panic attack means when such, uh, such events happen repeatedly. So much so that we start avoiding things which are normal. So, yes, we may see sometimes a, a terrible accident on a road and if we start thinking I will never drive on the road again because of that, then that sort of uh, panic is, uh, that sort of panic attack is undesirable. Now, so panic attack happens not because of fear but because of what comes after fear. So, what do we mean by what comes after fear? When we are initially fearful, uh, that, say we see a road accident and we feel fearful, oh, I have to be, uh, I will, the roads can be dangerous, I have to be cautious. That is a good reaction. But after that, the mind starts fantasizing many worst case scenarios. Usually the word fantasy is used in a positive sense. You know, the good dreams are called as fantasies, but the mind starts uh, basically using the faculty of imagination for for uh, depicting uh, many worst case scenarios and most of these scenarios don't happen so uh, <coughs> we need to so the problem is not fear the problem is uh, what comes after fear so the, what uh, what comes after fear is our imagination of many worst case scenarios. So how do we avoid that? The Bhagavad Gita describes in the 16th chapter that Abhayam Sattva Samshuddhi that Abhaya fearlessness is one of the characteristics of the godly people. Now godly people have spiritual knowledge and spiritual knowledge centers on understanding our spiritual identity and understanding our connection with our co our with our supreme spiritual uh, supreme uh, supreme lord our spiritual connection with our, the supreme lord krishna so we see that arjuna in the first chapter of the bhagavad gita gets something like a panic attack wherein he just doesn't see the <coughs> see that okay there's a war and this is a fratricidal war and many of the warriors in this war may be uh, killed will be killed but from there he starts envisioning a whole scenario where he thinks that oh because of this we will uh, <coughs> the dynasty uh, the whole dynasty's protectors will be killed and protectors are killed and the women will become poll polluted then they will <coughs> then the next uh, if the women are polluted then the next generation will be degraded then the next generation will not perform religious rituals if the religious rituals are not performed 
then <coughs> those who are ancestors they will fall from their ancestral locations and those who are destroyers those who cause others to go to to fall from elevated positions those who destroy um, dynasties like utsanna kula dharma na manushya nam janardana narake niyatam vaso bhavati ittya vishushuma he starts thinking that that those who destroy the dynasty like this they will go to hell forever so we see that arjuna basically gets a panic attack by which he goes from the battle to uh, to many future generations and to many uh, to many future life destinations also But what krishna does is by providing spiritual knowledge by telling you are a soul you are eternal and the soul's destination is determined by one's disposition so cultivate a devotional disposition and you will attain a exalted destination never a degraded destination so krishna checks arjuna's panic attack and so much so that arjuna becomes the same arjuna who had given up his bow and arrow he picks up the bow and arrow and is ready to fight by the end of the bhagavad gita so similarly when the mind starts going towards a panic attack at that time we can check it by not letting the uh, fearful stimuli trigger our imagination instead if we turn towards krishna if we remember krishna if we chant his holy names if we recite verses from the bhagavad gita if we remember the philosophy then we can uh, meditate on our spiritual identity and then we will see okay what is the problem right now okay the problem is there is a road accident and because of that there is a traffic jam i have to go in a different way and a precaution is i should not be reckless in my driving and that is good enough if we in this way avoid what comes after fear then we will be able to deal with fear in a calm and mature way and we will become cautious never paranoid thank you very much